to that motherfucker like, yeah, I actually not be proud of this shit, but I am. It's, in a sick kind of way, I was proud, like, yeah, it's my first government check. I feel good. It's six dollars. Can't even fucking buy gas. <laughs> Can't go nowhere with six dollars. I still actually got the six dollars. I don't want to catch that motherfucker. I want to keep that shit. That's a memorabilia type shit. Oh, oh, oh. Put that shit on my wall and show my son, like, look, you can accomplish anything. Look at that. I was a juror. <laughs> Fucking six dollars, man. Have you been, have you, how many people did you have done jury duty, Max Cool, cool, cool. I did jury duty downtown Houston. Oh, it was like my 400 people, like 400 people. So it was like majority of white people. And I was like the only black guy there. This is weird. There are black chicks there, but I was the only black dude there. I was like 30 years old. I was young. I'm like, I felt like there was babysitting me or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I swear I thought I saw the lady from Murder She Wrote there. So, this is a situation you ever done jury duty. This is what they do. They pick 20 people, they take them to the courtroom, and you get to talk to the lawyers. They kind of give you what's, they kind of tell you what's going on. I was there for a DWI, a hot white girl. Hot. She was hot too. I was looking at it like this. You didn't do nothing wrong. And don't let nobody tell you nothing different. So, the defense lawyer does his little speech or whatever, that's fine. Then the prosecutor, he goes and starts doing his little speech or whatever. And he says, hey, how many of you guys have been racially profiled? So I'm over to shine, America. It's like, yes, this is what I've been waiting for for eight hours. For me to say something. He's like, yeah, you, sir, what is your problem? What do you have with police? So I start saying all problems and shit like, well, when I drive my Cadillac, I get stopped by the police, and I don't appreciate it because I'm a taxpaying citizen. So he's like, okay, so how you feel about the police? Do you like him or not? I was like, what, a one out of 10? He goes, no, this is a quarterback. I said, yes or no. So in the back of my mind, I go, yes, this is my fucking It gotta be something good. I wanna be something thought provoking instead of going to remember me and shit. So I, I thought of that movie, fucking Few Good Men, with Jack Nicholson. That moment Jack Nicholson looked at Tom Cruise and goes, yeah, I told him to Corey Reed. I want that moment, you know what I'm saying? And I looked at that guy and I was like, this, I can't stand him! And I scared all the white people in there. So it's safe to say I'm not a jury no more. I got my six dollars. <laughs> uh, have you ever heard about the Chuck E. Cheese lady? The lady left her kid at Chuck E. Cheese. Have you heard about that shit? Well, if you've never heard of it, this is your chance. Man. This lady left her child for a day at Chuck E. Cheese. For a whole day, she didn't realize until she was getting ready to let the kids for school. She's like, oh my God, I left kids at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> How can you leave a human being for a whole day and don't even know you left your child? And just continue watching TV and doing your regular stuff and didn't know you missed one child? You know what I'm saying? I never miss the key, car keys, wallet, but that's a human being. You think you want to remember that. Right? But guess what? She left the birthday girl. It was the fucking birthday girl she left. Even Casey Anthony going, that's a shitty mama. I would kill the bitch. I would have gonna leave her. She left the baby in the birthday girl. That's the very most important person in the family, right? That's like the Secret Service living Barack Obama in Afghanistan getting all the way up to fucking White House going, shit, we left the president. Gotta go get him. That is fucked up, man. Oh, I'm gonna do one more drink on the Abbey, man. Uh, I am from Africa, man. Make sure going for that, yeah. I met her the next time. I know what you guys are thinking. He got clothes on. I know this. And I'm fat, I know this. But I'm African, though, man. But people don't even believe I'm African. They be trying to figure me out and shit. They be like, well, you don't look like you run marathons. No. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, for real. The only good thing about being African is I get away with a lot of shit because I'm African. And I'm going to tell you why I get away with a lot of shit. Okay, I'm in a relationship and stuff. 
my girlfriend, she wants to try something new all the time. She's like, honey, I think it'd be the best way for us to go on a cruise to the Caribbean for a week and stuff. And I'm like saying to myself, how can I get out of this shit? What could I tell her just to get out of this fucking shit? I don't remember that cruise. I got no money for the cruise. So I'm thinking in my head, what would I tell her just going to mess her up for a day? I'm like, we'll go on a cruise, huh, honey? You serious? That's how they brought my people to America. She's like, oh my God, I forgot you're African. Yeah, that's my bitch. Think about it. When you ask me that question one more time. <laughs> I've never been to a zoo. I'm African, right? Never been to a zoo. I don't know what a zoo looked like. And people get mad at me because you've never been to the zoo and you call yourself African? They're like, fuck you, that's racist. And I'm serious. I'm scared to go to the zoo because since I'm African, that one time that I go to the zoo, a lion might just get out of the cage and just start fucking people up and shit. And they look for me and she's like, hey, yeah, you, 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 you are African, right? And I'm like, yes. Can you kill that lion for me? Nope. My people are not hunters. We was gatherers. We cooked the food. You guys have been a great crowd. My name is Kuhi Jinji.